It's time for another Star Wars build. So I was in the shower the other night and I thought to myself, you know what? I haven't done a Star Wars build for a while. So I went through my toy collection and I found these. And I reckon I could use this BB-8 and make something cool. I also went through my burl pile and I found this nice spiky piece. It kind of looks like a hedgehog too. So the plan for this one is going to be quite simple. I'm going to leave this piece of burl in its raw natural state. I know a lot of you guys like to see that. It's also going to suit the scenes in which we see the BB-8 where it's always on sand. So that's going to be a good look. So the first thing I need to do is cut this and get it shaped to fit in my container. And then we'll stabilize it in the vacuum chamber. I've gone ahead and put that piece of burl in the oven to cure and while we wait I want to do some weathering on this BB-8. I've got myself some black paint and sandpaper. That should do the trick. There we go, I think that looks much better. I got the burl out of the oven, I'm going to let this cool down and then glue on the BB-8. So you know how I said I wasn't going to paint this? Well I'm still not going to paint it, but after sitting the BB-8 on there, there's a nice little valley right below him. I reckon it might look really cool if we put some glow in the dark resin in there, and it might shine up and light him up a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy, but I reckon a nice little pool of blue glow-in-the-dark resin in there would look fantastic. So now that I have the BB-8 into position, it's time to pour my resin. 
Now it's taking all my willpower not to add some blue alcohol ink, because you guys know that I love my blue resin, but I really want to keep this really super clean, and I think the clear look is going to look much better. Now I'm just going to go pop this in the vacuum chamber and I'm going to try and draw any air out that's inside of that BB-8. Well, there's only one final step to do in this casting process and let's put it inside the pressure pot until it cures. Let's hope we got a nice clear casting. It's looking pretty good. So my next step is to put this on the lathe and we'll start turning it into something cool.
Well guys, I finally finished sanding and polishing the orb. It took me a while, but I did get there in the end, and I've got to say, this piece looks amazing. I'd even go as far as saying it's one of the best pieces I've ever made. And if you guys think so too, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. Well, that's enough of me talking. Let's check it out. 